हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग इज फिफ्टीन जून क्लास फॉर इंग्लिश सो फर्स्ट यू ऑल ओपन योर बुक द इंग्लिश चैनल पेज नंबर फोर्टी फोर टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव एडजेक्टिव फर्स्ट रीड दिस सेंटेंसेस टॉम सेस माई टीचर सेज दिस स्कूल वॉज बिल फिफ्टी ईयर्स एगो फादर सेस दिस इज वेर आई वे टू स्कूल टू In the first sentence, this is tells us about the noun school. It is a demonstrative adjective. In the second sentence, this is used in place of the noun school. It is a demonstrative pronoun. Remember one thing: demonstrative adjective is followed by a noun, but a demonstrative pronoun takes the place of a noun. Now solve this exercise. Write D A if it is a demonstrative adjective, or write D P if it is a demonstrative pronoun. So number one is already done. Something strange happens behind that door. Underline that and that demonstrative adjective here. So write D A. Number two, which one of those doors is locked? Underline those and those here. D A demonstrative adjective. Number three, that green door. Underline that. Write D P. Demonstrative pronoun. Number four, can you hear these sounds? Underline this. Write D A. Demonstrative adjective. Number five, these sounds like wolf and hyenas. Underline this and this. Write D A. Sorry, uh, this sounds like wolf and hyena. Write D P here. This is a uh, demonstrative pronoun. Okay, so write D P here. This is taking the place of noun. So this sounds like wolf and hyena. Here, this is demonstrative pronoun. So write D P. Number six. I know. But there is not an animal behind these doors. Write D A. Underline this and write D A. Number seven. This is a mystery. This is a mystery. Underline this and here this is D P. Demonstrative pronoun. Number eight. This sound is not as frightening as frightening as the one I heard last time. Underline this and here this is D A demonstrative adjective. Number nine, can we run through one of those corridors? Here those is D A right D A. Number ten, no those lead to the laboratories. Underline those and here those is D P demonstrative pronoun. Turn on your page, page number forty-seven. There is a letter writing. Writing a letter. Imagine you went on a class camping trip to a waterfall. You had a strange adventure there. Write a letter to a friend or relative, telling him or her about your trip. So first, write the address of sender. Seventeen. Jivan Road, Civil Lines, Pachmari, MP. Twelfth August two thousand eighteen. This address is already right here, so just copy it and write dear. Here date is twelfth August two thousand eighteen, but when we written it, we date today's date. Okay, so fifteen June two thousand twenty. Okay, dear, here write uh, when you send uh, whom you send this letter, your friend or relative, write it here, dear. 
auntie or dear friend write it here dear then a comma and write the name okay and write last saturday i along with six school mates went on a class camping trip to waterfall it was seven day trip we went by train and after a day stay left for the adventure early in the morning by bus and reach there by evening we saw the waterfall the nights were mostly clear and we enjoyed the beauty of the moon the stars and the sky the stars and the sky and hear some strange sounds all night we are very scared so we call our teachers and guide they look around for cause of sound and they found a little kitten everyone laughed next day we leave for school and everyone excited about the adventure it was really a great time for all of us i wished you were with us when you come to here next time we shall plan a similar camping trip again yours lovingly write it here your name okay and now i give you all some spelling so spell with me waterfall w a t e r f a w l waterfall relative r e l a t i v e relative strange s t r a n g e strange everyone e v e r y o a n e everyone adventure a d v e n t u r e adventure waterfall relative strange everyone and adventure spell this word and write down on your notebook 